It's okay. David, David comes to this reality. And I, I found it interesting, Kathy, that throughout this psalm, David is not complaining, he is not crying, he is not murmuring. In fact, he is encouraging himself. Listen to what he says. He says, trust in the Lord and do good. He says, delight thyself in the Lord, and he will give thee the desires of thine heart. In other words, David said, listen, I'm not, I'm not going to try to get even with you because I've discovered that God will bless me anyway. I call it an anyway blessing. Anybody ever had an anyway blessing? Well, somebody tried to keep you down, but God took you anyway. Somebody closed the door in your face, but God opened it anyway. Somebody dug a plot for you, but God brought you out anyway. Anybody ought to be a testimony this morning that God will give you an anyway blessing. Folk will try to figure out how did she get out of that? Because God did it anyhow. You meant it for evil, but God meant it for good, and God did it anyway. You didn't want me to prosper, but God prospered me anyway. You didn't want me to succeed, but God brought me anyway. Tell your neighbor, I know an anyway blessing. I got an anyway blessing. I got an anyway blessing. I got an anyway blessing. I know you didn't want it, but I got an anyway blessing. Folks looking and trying to wonder how you still got your back straight and your shoulders square and your head up high because God blessed me anyway. Anyway, bless you. Y'all sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Hey. David, 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 David is a psalmist. And he writes a whole lot of psalms. He says, he says, he says in another one psalm, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? He said in one psalm, he said, he said, you, 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 you prepare a table before me in the presence Y'all not going to talk to me. God, you could have blessed me over in a corner somewhere, but you decided to bless me all out in front, in the presence of my enemies. I, I can't even act like I'm trying to cover it up, but you want them to see exactly that you have blessed me. So, and so, and so, so. So what I, I discovered when I was reading this psalm, when I was reading this psalm, it took me back, West Point, to, 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 to when I was a boy. And I'm from Jackson, Kathy, but I'm, I'm really a country boy. Uh, my grandmother's from Camden, Mississippi. Anybody know Camden? Yeah, it's in the country, dog. It's, it, 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 it's, it's further than Canton. My wife's from Canton, but it's, it's a little further in the country. And, and when I read this psalm, it reminded me of some of the things that my old country grandmama used to tell me. And the first thing, the first thing it reminded me of that she used to tell me all the time. Number one, God don't like ugly. Anybody's grandmama ever tell you that? God don't like. Look, it's in the text. I'm not making it up. It's in the text. Verses 12 and 13, it says, the wicked plotteth against the just. And gnasheth upon him with his teeth. The Lord shall laugh at him, for he seeth that his day is coming. Somebody say, God don't like ugly. No, God don't like ugly. David said, listen, even when folk are plotting against me and talking about me, I have comfort in the fact that God is looking down on me and listening in on what's taking place. And God is up in heaven saying, that's all right. Your day is coming. You can mess with one of my children if you want to. Your day is 
coming. You can dig a platform if you want to. Your day is coming. Grandmama was right. God don't like ugly. That's why Paul instructs us in Romans 12. He says, Romans 12 and 17, recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. If it be possible, as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. Therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, Give him drink, for in so doing thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. Paul said, listen, the best thing you can do for a joker who's trying to mess with you is minister to him. When he's hungry, feed him. When he's thirsty, give him drink, because God don't like ugly, and God will repay him. And so instead of fighting him, feeding him. Instead of murmuring, start ministering. Instead of complaining start comforting stop worrying and start worshiping because God don't like ugly and the Lord will avenge you the Lord will revenge you the Lord will lift you up you don't have to get your hands dirty you don't have to get your hands bloody praise God and go on anyhow because God don't like ugly and somebody ought to make up in their mind today I'm going to leave this thing alone I've been trying to fight it myself I'm going to leave it alone I've been trying trying to overcome it myself, I'm going to step back and let God step up. I'm going to get my hands off and let God put his hands in. Let the Lord fight the battle. God don't like ugly. But there's something else grandma used to say. She used to tell me this all the time. She used to say, she used to say, Reggie, what goes around? Your grandma said it too, didn't she? Comes around. David said it in the text, verses 14 and 15. He says, the wicked have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy and to slay such as be of upright conversation. Their sword shall enter into their own heart and their bows shall be broken. David said, I've lived in life long enough to know that what goes around comes around. The traps that people set, the ditches that people dig, the words that people use, the ways that people act, will oftentimes come right back to haunt and hurt them. And that's why you need to be careful about what you're sowing in the folks' lives. If you're sowing joy, get ready to get some joy. If you're sowing love, get ready to get some love. If you're sowing peace, get ready to receive peace. But if you're sowing hate, I need to tell somebody, hate is going to come back and seek you out. If you're sowing discord, discord will come and make a bed in your house. If you're sowing anxiety and worry and animosity, get ready to be worried and anxious on your own because Paul said in Galatians 6 and 7 be not deceived God is not mocked whatsoever thou sowest that thou shalt also reap Psalm 7 and 15 he made a pit and digged it and is fallen into the ditch which he made his mischief shall return upon his own head and his violent dealing shall come down upon his own plate. Because what goes around comes around.